something new each and every single time. It is time for everyone's favorite segment, Slap You With Science with Dr. That's right. Didn't spend fifty dollars on the internet getting my fake PhD for nothing. Uh, if you are having a bad day, I have the answer that will turn that frown upside down. According to a new study, all you need to do are the following six steps that have provenly been proven by scientific folks to work. <laughs> that was an interesting sentence. All right. First one is do not hit the snooze button. Instead of thinking about everything you have to do, get up naturally. Lift your mood. Listen to your favorite happy song. Listening to uplifting songs that you love will change the way you perceive the world. Focus on all the good things. Focusing on all the great things you, you have will make you feel a little bit better. And start to melt that bad mood away. And laugh. Make some time to laugh and giggle naturally. Feel a little lighter. See a friend. Catching up with an old friend will definitely have you focus on the interaction rather than what's on your mind. And last but not least, do a random act of kindness. According to research, by making someone else smile or feel good, it naturally releases endorphins that will help you feel good. That's why I was so happy yesterday. Yes, that's why. Not the 87 billion cups of coffee that you had. <laughs> well, maybe that contributed you to it as well. With science. Uh, all right, scientists say that bringing back the woolly mammoth may actually happen in the near future. Like, near future is in a couple years, folks. Uh, a group of scientists from the University of Harvard are, are, are planning to see if they can create a woolly mammoth elephant hybrid in an artificial womb. To do so, it would take the frozen mammoth genes and then will splice them with cells from a modern Asian elephant to see if they produce the embryo. Uh, scientists say uh, they're optimistic. They may not have a long road of work ahead of them to actually produce a living creature, though. But uh, I've seen estimates talking about a couple of years. They could happen. All right. You've been flat with science. And this uh, last story really doesn't have to do with science, but it's too cute not to share. A seven year old girl applies for a job at Google and gets a response from the CEO. Chloe Bridgewater knew Google was the company for her when she saw pictures of the company's office. She sent a letter where she said she too wanted to sit on bean bags and go down slides. But she also highlighted her strengths. She said that she was a good worker and was an excellent at math. Her father was surprised when Google CEO Sundar Soon, uh, Peachy uh, wrote back. He didn't offer her a job, but he did tell her to keep working hard and follow her dreams. <laughs> That's pretty good. I never got a call back from him. I'm just saying. Applied a couple times to Google. Sundar didn't call me. You know what I'm saying? All right, there you go. Been slapped with science. There you go, Mel, back to you. All right, thanks, Go. The countdown is on for a new.